What's up guys, this is James the First, and welcome back to more Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the last episode, we we did a heist to get the Clockwork Tail Fitters, and we did, and we got Dimitri arrested. 100% in that episode. And this time, we're gonna see, or in this episode, we're gonna see who this tiger dude is. Seems pretty wealthy from the scenes, from the likes of it. A star die encounter. Let's start. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life of crime selling illegal spices in the black market eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He's since crowned himself Lord of the Hills, and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased Ancestral Palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the Clockwork Wings, the symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you, especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring in prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. Alrighty, so our only choice is to play a slider or sell some loot, which I think we have some loot, do we? Eh, there we go. Actually, do we have any moves to be able to buy? I'm uh, just 20 short of money. Alright, let's just start. Fly, scope out the palace, and then find a way to break into the ballroom. Let's find out who's at this party. All right, uh, listen to Bentley, we have an idea. Go over there, but don't go over there yet. You wanna go in this bridge over here because while well, there is a clue bottle here and there is dirty in this world. If you go all the way here, you get a treasure. That's blinking for some reason. Let's grab the clue ball first and we got our first instance of uh, a time treasure thing. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> but you just want to get to your base as fast as possible so Bentley can disarm the bomb. And you can sell it for tons of loot. It's not required for 100%, but eh, it's still there. And there are a couple treasures in this area. I just. I don't know if you need them. With the drawbridge up, the only way across that river is on those conical rocks. Do you remember how to spire jump? What? You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. There we go. And before I was cut off, I was gonna say, I don't think you need all the treasures for 100% of the game. I think all you need to do is just get all the clue bottles and all the moves. I believe that's all you need. It's 100% of the game in each world. But we're already four, four clue bottles in. And we got some new enemies over here. Making some good progress, we're just gonna go to our destination. Pick up clue bottles on the way. Defeat any guards we see. I figured out how to sneak in above 
off the ballroom without being detected. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Even though Sly has to figure it out, we're gonna kill the scar and get all the clue bottles around the area. Since we can, because why not? Saves me backtrack in trouble. And yep, we could already hear them all over the world. Which is pretty neat. And this part where I start rambling again. But I got a pretty good idea. I think we're just gonna do the mission this episode, but who knows. And yeah, great ball. Well, it was a good thing. There was a clue ball back here. And sounds like there's a bunch of them here. So. There we go. Uh, let's just go inside the room. Rajan. Rajan's really pulled out all the stops to impress people with this party. Maybe you should get some shots of the guests. We got some guests here, and as you can see, what our, our check mark is. Let's see who everyone's here is. Another Claw Gang member. Our Peggio specializes in exotic technology. John B. Son, a member of the Claw Gang and Canadian Shipping Baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. Nice. We'll learn more about these enemies, even though we haven't met them yet. Oh, who's this creepy woman? <laughs> That's the Contessa, a high-ranking prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajan's spice ring. We got two left from the looks of it. Carmelita's here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan. Got one left from the looks like it. And it's another familiar face. It's this, it's this right now. No, I'm kidding. Get it. Neela, another officer undercover. Watch yourself, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. That's all the photos I need. Bring them back to the safe house and we'll start building a game plan. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although, we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. Oh, 
All right, so let's go out there and see what we have to do. And it looks like we gotta do what Bentley told us to. But let's go over here real quick and grab this bottle while I close out the video. I know it's a short one, but we have a pretty good idea of what we need to do. And I'd rather do those two missions next time. I know like some of these videos are short, but but really, I just want everything to go smoothly, kinda. That's just in my opinion. But, I think we're done here. Next time on Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves, we're gonna be collecting some more clue bottles and doing the two, well, not that mission. We're gonna be doing the, I can't see it. But there's a Murray mission we gotta do, but first we gotta take out the or lower the drawbridge. Alright, see you guys next time.